everybody, it is your girl Paige. Welcome to my pick a card. Thank you so much for joining in. This is what is your person thinking about right now? So what is he or she thinking about the connection right now? We have three piles. As you can see, I don't have objects, but somehow you can pause the video, take three deep breaths, contemplate about your person and see which pile resonates or calls to you the most. So this is pile one, this is pile two, this is pile three. Of course there are tarot and oracle cards in all three piles. Try to choose just one pile. I will go in depth about what your person of interest is thinking about the connection right now. I might get some good, I might get some bad and ugly, so I don't know if I need to say trigger warning. But thank you so much for tuning in. I will see you at your pile. Hello there my pile ones, welcome. We are going to take a look at what your person is thinking about the connection. Starting with the tarot, we have the Knight of Cups, the Fool, the Seven of Cups, the Six of Swords, and the Hierophant. So I'm hearing that someone wants to come back. So there are different situations here, of course, with you guys. None of you have the same situation going on. So take what resonates. So for those of you who live far away from one another, they want to come travel to where you are and see you. And if you are maybe not on the best speaking terms right now and there's some um, separation or emotional distance, they want to bridge the gap and come to you all as that way. And um, if you broke up with them, if this is an ex of yours, they want to make amends with you and have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. There's some sense of coming back, the Six of Swords. So somebody could have left the situation. It could have been them. It could have been you. It could have been mutual. Both of you left. And this person wants to come towards you. Why? Because they have been daydreaming about the day of like coming back to you and talking to you. They have been really fantasizing about this connection for a long time. They are now beginning to get ready. To, they're ready to take a leap of faith now. This leap of faith you're wondering is to open up to you about how they feel for you or how they miss you, how they yearn to come back to where you are, maybe to start things over and get back together if you two were officially dating, or to start dating if you never have dated before. So in the beginning, this person could have been someone who liked to keep their options open. This could have been someone who wanted to stay friends with you or said they didn't have feelings for you, or they just flat out walked away and ghosted and ended things. But you have been on their mind so heavily. They've been so obsessed with thoughts of you that they see themselves like coming out of their shell and pursuing you with the Knight of Cups because the emotions, the feelings that they have for you, Pile One, it runs so deep, okay? These are beautiful cards, all of them. But the Seven of Cups can be a little bit tricky because, yes, this talks about someone who's in their daydreams and their fantasies about a connection or about a person, but they're, they they want to stay in their head. This is someone who would rather stay in their comfort zone, not really come out of their shell and make it reality. So they could be daydreaming or fantasizing about asking you out on a date, but they're staying in their head instead of wanting to make that really happen. Why? Because maybe anxiety or fear, there could be a lot of different reasons, but something about you excites them. You kind of bring out this inner child of them, make them see the world differently in a more positive light, and they wanna to come towards you. They wanna make things right because they don't wanna lose you. They feel bad for taking you for granted or taking your kindness for granted. There's There could be some cases where they want to apologize for just like straight up leaving. And they are considering their thing. So this is them in their head, right? So it's not 
to say that this is what they're going to do, that they are going to make the move to you, but they're thinking about it. So we're in their thoughts. This whole reading is about what are they thinking about the connection. So they're thinking about a lot. They're thinking about longevity, where things can go, how it could get there. They're planning, they're being methodical. They're hoping that there could be a commitment here and not just a short-term commitment or a casual commitment, but longevity, boyfriend and girlfriend, leading to marriage, leading to having a family. They're thinking about the whole picture, the big picture. I'm pretty sure this person knows that you like them back or you have feelings for them. I, I believe they know this already and it makes them really happy and they feel warm inside that you feel the same way. However, for a lot of you, I don't believe you really know where you stand with this person because they can be a little bit hard to read. Yes, I think I think that they had issues in the past with previous relationships that went wrong and so they were not open and ready to just be honest with you or confess their feelings to you right off the bat, but they're definitely considering doing that right now. They are considering that. So that was the tarot. Now we're going into the Lennerman cards. We have the dog, the mice, and the clock tower. Okay, so, again, they are being really finicky. Something about this connection gives them anxiety because they're so jumpy, and maybe they haven't been sleeping that well, but they're so anxious. They could be planning things too, but, like, just over-worrying about the situation when it's not really that serious. So, yeah, they've been in their head, the mice talks about simply anxiety, overworking yourself, being jittery, jumpy, and just anxious all around. The dog talks about loyalty, companionship, and a friend that you can trust. So maybe you guys started off as friends and this is how they want to be right now with you because it's their com comfort zone and they're still not quite ready to take the leap of faith, but they're thinking about how they'll do it, you know, if that makes any sense. But this also gives me that apologetic look, like I'm sorry for not being completely honest and forthcoming with you about my feelings and my emotions towards you. And this clock tower is talking about perspective, seeing the bigger picture. So maybe they're trying to see things from your perspective and see, um, how you're being affected, how you're feeling, and trying to be objective. And this could also talk about someone who's kind of going within, working on themselves, and seeing, the, seeing this connection for what it is instead of being in their head. Because they live and thrive in their head. Some people follow their heart, and some people are more logical-based and rational-based. And I do believe that is the case for a lot of you, for this person that you're asking about. But they really value you as a close friend. This is the foundation of the connection and the relationship. And it's something that means a lot to them because they do believe that they can trust you. And they can't say that with like 98% of the people that they come across. So that means a lot to them. We have Angels of the Four Directions, very powerful. Status Quo, maybe they're kind of worried about how other people would view, like they think too much about how other people see them. Consciousness of Lack, okay, so they're not thinking too highly of themselves or the, situ or the connection. They're seeing it maybe sometimes as, oh, it's a lost cause. There's no way I can repair this and make it better. Everything is out to get me. And why? Because we have this stuck energy. So this is the 
current state your person is in. They're feeling stuck all around. They're feeling stuck financially, emotionally, spiritually, relationship-wise. And they feel like they don't know where they're going in life, what, where their direction is. And so in all aspects, they are feeling stuck. Some of them could be feeling could be feeling stuck with another person, with an ex or a karmic, or it could, they could be stuck in their head of their consciousness of lack, not <laughs> feeling like everything is out to get them and there's no way that it would ever change. So they're kind of dwelling on the negative in regards to this connection at times, which is why it hasn't been moving because they themselves are feeling stuck, that if that makes sense. And they're kind of worried about how other people would see the two of you, like what their opinions would be. Uh, some people wouldn't mind it in your person's life. Some people wouldn't mind the two of you together. And then some people would have some things to say. That could be for different reasons. But with this angels of the four directions, it's almost as if this person believes that you two were meant to to meet there's something about this connection to your person of interest something about it feels faded it feels like destiny it feels very intense and powerful like all of the angels that are guarding you and him or her are are guiding you back together so he's having so he or she has some type of hope that you two will come back together because you'll be brought together by your guardian angel, so they could be manifesting a union or reconciliation because they don't feel that they have it within themselves to do it on their own. So, yes, that is what these cards are saying. All right, now we have this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. So they're saying to themselves, you, you know what? Pile one just may be it. Pile one could definitely be my the love of my life, my soulmate, the person I'm meant to be with. So this is how they think about you. This is how they see you. Finances and career, financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So they're trying to build up their finances. They, again, there's this feeling of being stuck. Maybe they feel stuck at a job they don't think they can grow at. And there's some frustration. They're trying to, to save up money. It's as if like they want to show off to you that they are worthy. Right? That worth, worthiness, or that keeps coming up in my head when I tap into the energy here. But yeah, they are really working hard, or maybe they're trying to find another job, or maybe, yeah, maybe they're trying to work multiple jobs, or just find a new one that pays more. But this is where their attention is primarily at right now, is with their work and their career, but they still think about you quite frequently. I do believe this person thinks about you a lot. And look at that. We have soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. They're thinking to themselves, wow, pile one. They are my person. They are the love of my life. They're the one I'm meant to grow old with. And this is my soulmate. This is my soul partner. But again, their priorities are elsewhere right now. They're, it's really focused on um, opportunities and career and work. I think that's the majority of where they're, what they're focusing on, actively speaking. But in their head, it's like you're on their mind very heavily. So if you ever wonder if this person is thinking about you, they are. And last but not least... My life started when I met you. I would do anything for you. You are so very special. I am terrified of this connection. And gossip only hurts more. 
So I don't know if they think you're gossiping about them behind their back or other people they feel are gossiping about them, but this to me is more so paranoia or anxiety. I, I don't believe you guys have been... Some of you could have been gossiping about them, but this is, again, just them in their head. But they think that their life started when they met you. You're so special. They would do anything. But they're also very anxious, and so they're still trying to work on that aspect. But thank you so much, Pile One, for watching. Hit that thumbs up button. I would really appreciate it. Be on the lookout for the future videos that I will post, and I will see you guys next time. Take care. Hello there, Pile Two. Welcome in. Thank you so much for joining so we're going to see what is your person thinking about the connection starting with the tarot let's get into it we have the ten of cups wow that's ultimate completion the page of swords the ace of cups the king of wands and the Five of Cups. So there's a lot of guilt here from what this Five of Cups card is telling me. They're feeling guilty. They're feeling a lot of regret and remorse for how they treated you or how they're handling things or maybe some words they said in the heat of the moment that they wish they could take back, but they know they can't. I think that they're not doing great emotionally. I think they have periods where they get very depressed or just overwhelmed. They could be gifted spiritually or psychically. They could be like an empath. So feeling a lot of energy around them kind of pulls on their energy and makes and affects them. And so because of this, they close themselves off from this connection but they really do value you. They feel like they're losing you by not doing anything. And they, they're scared that they're going to lose you completely. Almost like grieving the loss of someone who's passed away. You mean a lot to them. And so it's like they're scared that if they don't step up, you're going to leave. But they don't feel they have it in them to step up either. They have a lot of passion for you and attraction towards you. You kind of light their flame. You light their fire. They're never bored when they're with you. And yeah, they have a lot of passion towards you. So it's not just the sexual nature to it. They also have emotional ties to you and emotional feelings, romantic feelings, I mean. But I think the primary thing is how fiery they get when they're with you or when they're around you when they hear your name. I also believe that this person has been keeping a close eye on your social media. They've been keeping a close watch. Even if you guys aren't friends, they could still look you up and if your profile is public or something, they're seeing what you're posting. Who are you hanging out with? Who have you been giving your time to? This person is very jealous and possessive. But I'm getting the sense that for some of you, they're talking to someone else on the side or multiple people. That won't be applicable to all of you, Pile 2. But they feel very complete with you. They can see themselves settling down and, and marrying you and building a family with you, a legacy with you. You tick off all of the boxes. Like in their dream, they have a dream person a checklist, right? You check off all of those boxes. So there is a lot that this person wants to get off their chest, but they're so fearful that they don't see themselves able, they don't think they're able to do it. And this person doesn't usually have a hard time getting what they want because maybe they are very attractive and maybe they could be a little bit like a player and um, people come to them and they don't usually have to try so hard when it comes to relationships. And the thing is, is that I don't think this person is really looking for a relationship or looking to be in a relationship with anybody. But if they were ready to be in a relationship, I think you would be their first 
or main choice. Even if they had options, I do believe that it would be you that they would choose only because there's something about you that feels like home to this person. And there's a lot of sadness whenever they think about you and they think about the connection. This person gets really sad because they, they don't think they measure up. They're scared that there's no way to repair this and they don't want to let this go either. But maybe outwardly, it seems like they couldn't care less, but that's just not the truth. It's not the truth at all. They kind of just want to start over and start again. Uh, they're kind of nostalgic also about this connection. They think about when you guys first met. They're listening to a lot of songs about, about you. Some of them feel like they get your tele telepathic messages if you've been like writing letters to them out I mean in a journal or in your head or through music they're getting your messages is what I'm hearing uh and they feel like they they get music from you like you're giving them <laughs> songs to listen to about how you're feeling and they do the same thing to you also. They'll give you like random songs about how they're currently feeling. This doesn't happen all the time though. They've also been getting a lot of dreams about you as well. Mm hmm But I'm feeling the sense that this person is preoccupied with a lot of things. And this could be emotional. Maybe there are traumas and pain that they have to heal from and so this they could be doing some type of addictions to like numb themselves alcohol drugs sex whatever to but they're trying not to think about you so much lately because they're not ready to step up yet but don't think that they like have let you go completely i don't see them being able to do that even if they tried I do feel the sense of them knowing they're going to come back to you when I guess they're ready or when they're strong enough or when they're when they've healed. They want to make you their person is what I'm getting. But as of now, it's not the time. So let's now get into the Lenormand cards. We have the house, the house. The ring, okay, and the coffin. They have to make peace with their past. They really have to make peace with their past. They have to lay some things to rest. They have to end some relationships. This is very important for the health of the connection between you two. So they do feel like they're being guided by their spirit guides or angels or even God. So it's like they're listening, they're following, they're, like I do believe that they're being guided by someone, <laughs> you know, and, and they're being guided to focus within right now and maybe settle some karmic debts or there, there has to be an ending. I do think that for, if you believe this person is talking to someone else, they're working on ending that cycle, closing that chapter, closing that door for good, right? Which is a work in progress. If you don't believe this person is talking to anybody else, then they have to make peace with their past, all right? There's something they have to end. There's something they, that has to reach a conclusion for the promotion <laughs> or well-being of this connection, but what they're thinking about is that you're home to them. You feel like home. Oh, don't do it, Paige. You feel like home to me. Feel like home to me. Feels like I'm all the way back where I come from. Okay, <laughs> anyways. Uh, the ring talks about committing and commitment. So they see you as commitment material. Okay. Okay, pile two. Yeah, let's keep going. Planning and action. One of my favorite cards. Milestone. The loving man. 
Okay. And we have transformation. Yes. I love how they synchronize like that. So this is like that coffin from the Letterman, which just simply talks about rebirth, death and rebirth. So going through a transition, a spiritual journey, healing, doing shadow work, whatever that means, but they're going to reach that milestone of doing that inner work within themselves that will allow them to come forward to you when the time is right. I do believe that this connection is a soul connection. I do not say that a lot. Well, maybe I do. I don't know, but um, I do feel that for this pile specifically, this is a soul connection or a soul tie, meaning faded destiny written in the stars, whatever you want to say. Like, this is a very intense connection. Whatever label, I don't really want to use labels, but special. Very chaotic at times, but the end result, I do believe, will be beautiful. And it will be like this milestone, right? Maybe they want to gift you with something. Give you a gift of like a flower or whatever. And as of now, they're in their head. They're planning, being all methodical. I am also hearing another song. Goodness, I feel bad. The previous pile did not get a song. But your song is Matrimony by Wale. Is it Wale? Anyway, Matrimony by Usher. So if you want to look that up. That is a great song for this pile. Um, they are thinking about the next steps of how they're going to win you. They, they see you as like a prize that to be won. Yeah. And I do believe that they really loved you from the first glance is what I'm picking up like love at first sight or the feelings came pretty soon after meeting you. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So they want to get closer to you. Get to know you more. <laughs> Learn one another's secrets. Maybe even have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation about feelings. And maybe they're trying to keep an open mind. Maybe you're not their usual type, but that's why they like you so much that you stand apart and you're different. And they're also trying to stay positive about the situation and not just dwell on the negative all the time. So they're trying to have faith that everything is going to work out between the two of you. Alrighty, last but not least, we have some messages. I am manifesting you. This is the magician card. Think before you act. I think this is them thinking. <laughs> this is them talking to themselves. So think before you act. That's what they're saying to themselves. It's not what they're saying to you. Okay. I meant what I said. The Ace of Swords, which is again... Promoting communication, clarity, closure, heart to heart, being honest about what they want, and the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Emotion. That is so beautiful. So I think these two go hand in hand, Ace of Swords, Ace of Cups. So they want to tell you, hey, can we start over? Can we, t can we see where this will go, go on a date, whatever that means, it's going to be different for all of you, but they are 
praying, they're hoping, they're wishing, and they're trying to manifest things to come together between the two of you because they do they do love you. A lot of them, for a lot of the cases, those who choose this pile, they are in love with you, okay? And if you two have just met, obviously it's not love, but they have strong feelings for you. So that is everything, pile two. Thank you so much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Be on the lookout for my future videos that I will post, and I will see you guys next time. Take care. Hello there, Pile 3. Welcome in. Thank you so much for joining me. We're going to see what your person of interest, what they are thinking about the connection right now. So let's start with the tarot. We have the Three of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles, the Tower, Strength, and the Three of Swords. So they are heartbroken or they're missing you and yearning to be with you. But there could have been a painful separation or ending here. There could have been a breakup between the two of you. And they're putting a lot of the blame on themselves. They're kind of filled, filled with regret for how things fell apart and crashed suddenly. They feel that they didn't give you what you were looking for and that they disappointed you. And they're scared to like come back to you because they don't know how you'll respond if you will reject them or hear them out and they they're scared that they'll end up disappointing you again they don't think that they're good enough for you they think they're scared that you got bored with them and so they're thinking all of these things right now trying to find the strength to keep going um and to maybe come back and make amends with you but they're so closed off right now that I don't see that they're going to reach out to you anytime soon. Not saying ever, but just like not anytime soon. They think that it's kind of irreparable or not, like there's not anything, what am I trying to say? It, you can't build it back up again. They kind of think they went too far. However, whatever happened, whatever argument that, you, that the two of you got into, it was so grand. They're in their head. This is again, keep in mind, this is in their head from their perspective. So, <sighs> the tower is destruction. But after the destruction, after something gets destroyed, it gets rebuilt, usually, is what this card is saying. Like, when, when things come, all fall apart and fall down, you can build it back up. But in your person's perspective, they don't believe that it can be repaired or it can be built up. It's like the damage is too great. And they don't think they have the strength to apologize or to face up to what they did, whatever they did to you. Uh, for some of you, they could have gossiped about you behind your back. Or they could have cheated on you or lied to you or said some really mean things to you or ghosted you or not opened up to you about their feelings and they've been so hot and cold and back and forth. So the case varies for the different people watching. But for all of you, they are really sad and uh, remorseful. They're remorseful for their actions. And I think they're trying to find things to distract themselves so they don't think about this and how they messed up and screwed it all up. So they could be working really hard, multiple shifts, multiple jobs, long hours, so that their mind is distracted from this connection. But they are being closed off. I think... Maybe you two haven't been on the best speaking terms lately and they may not be replying to your texts or your calls and they're being avoidant with you right now because they can't face up to what they did. Whatever they did, they can't face up to it and see the hurt that they caused you. 
and they are deeply sorry about it because some of them could have done you guys dirty, especially if they cheated on you. Or some type of betrayal here is what I'm sensing. But yeah, they're apologetic. But they're like, the damage is done. How can we possibly fix things? There's no way we're going to be able to fix things and make it right. It's just a lost cause from here. So why should I even try to make amends? Alrighty, now we're going to get into the Lennerman cards. We have the journal, the sun, and the clover. So, whenever they think about, like, the memories of the two of you, they remember how much fun they had with you, how much you made this person laugh, and feel welcome and it was like you guys were untouchable there was a lot of spontaneity a lot of humor crude humor and enjoyment like just fun vibes the sun is also giving me this notion of this person feeling warm when they think about memories of the two of you they're really happy that they met you. You brought this person a lot of happiness. You could have brought light literally into their life. Maybe you met this person when they were in a dark period of their life. So there's a lot of gratitude is what this is kind of saying. There's a lot of reminiscing, a lot of nostalgia, wanting to just have fun with you again and have a laugh and enjoy each other's company. You have like a healing aura about you that they constantly think about. And then this journal here, they have re repressed emotions for you. They're kind of in denial still. This is kind of further talking about the Four of Pentacles. So the feelings are there, but they're hidden. The journal is all about repressed emotions, repressed feelings, and confession. So they have these feelings for you, but it's under lock and key. They don't want to open up to you. They don't want to tell you how they feel. They don't want to let you in because it is not, they're not ready to do that. And I'm hearing they're not going to ever be ready, but that is them in their head. So it depends. Some of you, they might open up to you gradually in time and then it is very possible that they will never find the courage to do so, which is really unfortunate because, like I mentioned, you make them very happy. They feel very lucky to have met you. There's a lot of charm about you, and that's how they feel. That's what they're thinking. Now we have fear. So here it is, laid out. Plain and simple. This is what's holding them back. Fear. Fear. Heavy fear. So many fears. And I do believe it is from past relationship baggage. Travel. Family, friends, and guides. So I find that this talks about... Um, passed on loved ones and spirit who are kind of watching over you. And this can also talk about like your spirit guides. Okay. And also decrease. So energetically, they're not feeling up to par right now. They could be in some heavy or like dark lower vibrations. And so they, they're not going to really give to the connection. They don't think they have it in them to do so. So there may be a decrease from them to you, meaning they may stay silent. They may still withdraw. You may reach out, but they won't respond. And there is this accumulation cum of fear, which is the reason behind everything. They're so trapped in it. They're allowing themselves to be caught up in it. And it's standing in the way from the two of you getting closer. There's a part of them that wants to travel towards you, 
but then they think about this fear again. It's like the fear is winning right now. It's been winning. I think they've always had this fear when it comes to you. I don't know why you trigger this person so much, what exactly they're afraid of or what their fear is, but I do believe that it could be multiple things with this person and it could be because of past hurts from relationships. They gave their trust, they gave their everything to one person and then it ended up like stabbing them in the back and so they haven't let that go, they haven't forgiven that and so they think that if they <laughs> come to you, you're gonna hurt them or they're gonna lose themselves or something bad is going to happen. They're just thinking about how everything can go wrong so yeah, that's not great and I feel like they're pulling back from you. They're going to continue to pull back from you for a while and it could be indefinite. So I'm really sorry to say these things or share these things with you because I do feel like they have feelings for you. Past life relationship, you have known each other before, so they believe this could very well be a past life connection, that you're someone familiar from their past life. Children, your love life is being affected by children, so maybe they have children, maybe you have children, or children are just playing a role into like why things are happening the way they're happening. And romantic feelings, your feelings are real and worth exploring. So they have romantic feelings for you. They do believe this is a past life connection. There is something that could be getting in the way here. They're in fear. So I think they're repressing their feelings. I think they're choosing to be in this state of denial because of whatever obstacles are in the way, even if it's just black and white as it just being fear. Now, last but not least, we have these channeled message cards. So let's get into it. I just want space. So yeah, they want their space right now to figure things out and they kind of just want to keep to themselves. They don't really want to talk. And um, that's why the decrease card came out. Let me have you. I'm open to compromise. I do want you. Time to ground yourself. I think this is them talking to themselves like time to ground myself. Wow. Alrighty. So they need their space, but they want to, to eventually come to a resolution here with you. That is what I am seeing with all of these cards. Thank you so much, Pile 3. It's a little heavy. I'm so sorry. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch. Please give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Subscribe to my channel. And hit the bell notification if you want to be updated on future videos that I will post. And keep it, be on the lookout for future videos that I post. And I will see you lovely souls next time. Take care, guys.